one verse in the second letter of Timothy, chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. In the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and in view of his appearing and his kingdom, I give you this charge. Preach the word, be prepared in season and out of season, correct, rebuke, and encourage with great patience and careful instruction. And this charge based on the previous chapter 3, verse 16. And let me read it for you so you would know that this charge is based on God's word. All scriptures, or all scripture without an S, is God breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for ever good work. May this be your zeal when you go to Mexico Mission. Let's bow our heads and pray. <coughs> our heavenly and gracious Father, we do thank you that you give us this privilege to be part of your work to go out for the mission field. Lord, we pray for this group of twelve. They decided to go and they were filled with your Holy Spirit to the kids this week, not for themselves, but to go out and make disciples. We pray for them. And we thank you that there is a list of 12 or for daily prayer from July 12 until the 19th, given to us every day to preach, to pray for them in a different focus. So let us as congregation to take this seriously and pray for each one of them as individual and as a team. Lord, we pray for safety, we pray for challenges, we pray for your anointment on each one of them. Let their communication and speech would be to glorify your name above all. And we pray also for spiritual protection and God will be clothed them with the armor and bind Satan at them to stop the, them. And also, Lord, our zeal and prayer and we pray from the depth of our heart that for opportunity to be sold and life to this people of Mexico through their witnessing to them. Lord, I put them in your prayer and I pray for each one of them as individual and as a team. I pray for David, for Sue, for Laura, for Leslie, for Tim, for Corey, for Rachel and Josh, for Jason, Lee, Ken, and finally for John Lewis. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit be with you all and stays in you from now and forever. Amen. Let's please uh, stand and sing our final hymn of commitment.